Hey, welcome back. Today we are going to remove this sink and faucet and replace them with this sink and a new faucet. I'm going to show you the steps on how to do that, how to remove the old one, install the new one, and get it all hooked back up and working properly. Step one, we're just going to make sure that everything is able to remove. We're going to make sure it's not caulked or if there is caulk, we're going to cut it loose. If it is caulked, grab your knife or whatever sharp object you have. Razor knife, pocket knife, whatever, just, you know, check around, make sure it's all clear and free from the wall. The next step, make sure that your water supply is turned off. because you don't want to make a huge mess and flood your your house or wherever you're working. Turn the water on, make sure it's off. You're still getting water. Use your pliers, make sure that you get it. Turned off. Not over crank on them, but you do want to make sure your water is off so that you're not flooding everything. And then if you have any kind of bucket or anything to catch water in, use it when taking your trap off. Um, that way you don't drip all over the floor. If you don't have a bucket, you can always lay some cardboard down or some towels on the floor, catch your mess. I actually just have some old scrap carpet that we ripped out of this unit that's going to get thrown away anyway. You just take off your supply lines. Take both of them loose. And then you start taking your drain apart. Thank you. 
take loose everything that you can. Place all this in that white PVC plastic so you don't need the metal anymore. Just take it all out. Should be able to let that drain down a little bit onto your towel or your carpet or into your bucket, whatever you got. happen to have the toilet next to you I want to take this trap piece this u-bend off just dump it into the toilet you don't need to see that that's not that great now Um, once you've unhooked those, take your trap off, dump your water out, probably in the toilet or whatever. It's just a couple of nuts to take off. Unscrew everything. We are removing all this old metal pieces and we're going to replace everything in plastic. So you can take everything off that you can. When you reach a certain point, then all you gotta do, pull your sink off the wall, finish removing, everything out, and then we'll go and put the new one together. If you're in the same situation we are here, where the old sink was just shaped a little bit different than the new one, and you've got to replace the bracket, and the new bracket's just a little bit smaller, you will have to take your old bracket off the wall, mount your new one. Uh, if you are working with a tile wall like this, you will probably need a masonry drill bit. If you're dealing with drywall, regular drill bits will work fine. I'm going to go ahead and get this off and work on getting the new one on and then I'll show you how to put the new sink and faucet together. Alright, now we're going to put the faucet onto the sink. Fairly easy, everything you need is in your box. You have the faucet, the pop-up drain assembly, in mounting nuts. Always try to connect everything to the sink first before you mount it. That way you're not crawled all up underneath it, laying on the floor and everything. Just put it on. Attach your mounting nuts.
so you can see. I'm just putting them on here. Now you could just mount your sink to the wall or to your vanity or whatever you're however you're hooking up and then lay underneath it, use a basin wrench, get everything hooked up from underneath, but that's more work than is necessary sometimes. Now there are situations where that's your only choice and you kinda have to, but But when you don't have to, like in this case, you just put everything together. Then you all right. Once you've got those on hand tight, you don't need to be cranked on, or you crack your porcelain sink. Then we're gonna do your pop-up assembly. This is. A piece goes up and down in here. We're going to get that put on, put together quite easily. I'm going to show you how easy it is. And you just need to make sure you have plumber's putty. You can find this at Lowe's, Home Depot, the hardware store. It's just like a gasket putty almost for plumbing for this type of job. We are going to get it put together. First thing you want to do is get you some putty, just roll it out like a snake in your hand. Roll it around underneath. the rim and then set that in the hole. Once you get that in, make sure it's lined up in the back. There will be a nut that comes with that. Hold that on. Nut, plastic nut, a gasket, and a washer. Very easy, very simple. The washer is the gasket washer is beveled. You will put the round end going up into the sink. So as you tighten, it fits in there great. So help hold this in place. And you put your washer on. And your nut. Start off hand tightening it as much as you can by hand. That washer should be sliding in there. Break out your pliers if you need to. Keep tightening it.
make sure that it goes in there straight it doesn't get all crooked Push it in there with your hand, make sure she's going in straight. Tighten it up. Just want it good and snug. You don't want it, you want to crank down on it, crack the plastic, or break your porcelain. Your other side. You should have pushed most of that putty out. Take your finger, run it around, clean it out. Make sure you get all that out. Save that for your next job. Now, as you know, this looks blue. That's just a plastic film that's on it. Peel that out, peel it off. Quite easily. You just take it out, peel that plastic film off. Put your fingers, you can use a razor knife if you want, just be careful. Don't scratch your chrome finish or whatever, satin nickel, whatever finish you go with. Peel that off, and that's good to go. Now we're going to work from the back side again. Get the rest of this assembly put together. Your rod goes through the hole in the faucet into the back. And you have these two pieces. Yeah, they look a little weird for this style of faucet, but that's what it is. Pretty simple, pretty easy actually. We'll get it put together right now. If you notice, this piece will have a hole in the top of it that slides on here. This style has a little push button. You push it in, slide it, and it locks in place. This piece fits down in here where your pop-up is. And it just goes in and it locks in place. We just slide it in the groove, twist and lock it in place. Just make sure that you're able to position this up and down so this can connect to it. This one looks like it's a side mount, so that would just be one of the holes. Pick one, pop it in, mess with your thing, make sure your stopper goes in and out like it needs to. And that sink and faucet are put together. 
Next, we're just gonna mount it back to the wall, hang it, and connect our drain pieces. Oh, actually before we should do that, next step, make it kind of easier on yourself, your supply lines, so you don't have to crawl underneath. I like to use Teflon tape or even a Teflon paste. Just run a thin, thin, thin layer right there on the on it. Connect those right to the faucet. Take your pliers, give them one good little, little, good little snugs, snug turns, and make sure they just, when you start feeling a bit of resistance, stop, because you don't want to break anything. And you don't have to worry about worrying if it's enough because that Teflon paste will help make sure that it's not leaking. And now we'll mount this to the wall, connect our drain to the wall, and we'll be done. Once you're back in here, ready to go, your brackets on the wall, grab your sink, and just set it in place. And there it is and then obviously when you're when it's all said and done you'll caulk it make sure it's secure to the wall I have a video on this channel on caulking a sink so you don't have to worry about trying to figure out how to do that just go back and watch that video and now you just want to hook up your drain your supply lines and you're good to go. We will move those to the side. Usually your drink comes with nuts and washers, everything you need. Put a nut on. And a beveled washer, beveled, it's just going to have a tapered edge. Make sure that's going to whichever direction this goes. So we're going to put the nut on, beveled washer, so that it goes down into here. So the goal is, this is beveled also, that washer will sit on there like that, the nut will tighten up. Push them up, and then I'll slide this trap piece on, slide those down, and tighten it up. It doesn't have to be cranked on. Just hand tight. Just hand tight. And this piece is going to be too long. So slide it in where you're going to need it. Cut it off. Hacksaw, some kind of hand saw, just nothing. Nothing fancy, you just cut it off and slide it in. And if you're in one of those situations like this one where it's directly behind it and you can't get this in, just loosen this back up, twist it, or take it off for the moment. 
this piece you're going to put a nut and a washer or nut on the front it is already beveled so it does not need a washer there the back side will get a nut and a beveled washer also um, most of the time in the wall coming out of your wall will be either metal or heavy duty plastic you can use a chrome nut you can use a plastic nut whatever works for you whatever you have usually your trap assemblies come with everything you need but you'll slide this into the wall put this back on and connect it all back together connect that and once everything's connected you'll just go back connect your water lines that's easy fill them up and in place I have to pause you for a second. I'm gonna have to lay down here. You don't need to see my weird face. Once you get them connected, you'll just grab your pliers, snug them back up, make sure they're good and tight. Um, you can also use that Teflon paste, put it on the threads before you put that on just to ensure. Okay, well, uh, battery died. Right there, Dan, but everything's together. It's just ready to be caulked. That's how you change out a sink, or at least a wall mounted sink, anyway. When I have a vanity or any other style, I will show you how to do those also. Thank you for watching. Please click that thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you weren't a big fan of it. Please leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Go back and watch my video on how to caulk a sink so you know how to keep this from, you know having a gap, whatever, make it look nice and pretty. All right, well, thanks for watching. Bye.